this is the Woody Show. Obviously, the uh, the big story today, the 22nd anniversary of 9-11. Right. We were just talking about recently. Oh, no, never mind. All right. Uh, I, in my mind, it was confused with, I thought we were asking, like, what's the biggest historical moment that you remember that you lived through? Right. But no, that was, mm-hmm. the was question cool. was, what would you go back mm-hmm. to? To witness. To witness. To witness. witness. Yeah. Like yeah. the building Not of Stonehenge or the, right. you yeah. know, mm-hmm. stuff like that. Somebody said, oh. D Day in Normandy. Like, right. No, a lot of people. Why would yeah. you None of that. Uh, have you never seen like Saving Private Ryan? <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> like just How watching watch that. that? Like, I watched oh. that once. I'll yeah. never watch that again. I mean, it's a great movie. Right. Uh-huh. But damn. All right. What are the trending news headlines today, Greg Gore? Well, a couple things about September 11th that actually are, I guess you'd call it new. Uh, there were two victims of the World Trade Center attacks who hadn't been identified for all these 22 years, but just were officially identified thanks to advanced DNA testing. From their remains. It's the same kind of DNA testing that they're using in uh, the Maui wildfires. Mm. Uh, okay. The remains from September 11th were only identified as a man and a woman. Uh, their identities, though, they're being withheld at the request of their families, but they have been officially identified 22 years later. You ever seen one of the uh, you know news specials about uh, 9-11 where they show the national radar of all the planes that are in the sky? As the attacks were unfolding, yeah. mm-hmm. and like then within minutes, everything's zero. just everything's like everything's cleared. The, yeah. the whole the 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 the, the airspace of the yeah. entire country cleared. It's grounded. It looked like a bunch of ants com- crawling out of like an ant hill, mm-hmm. and all of a sudden, mm-hmm. poof, nothing. How, how long were we not flying? I don't remember. Was it like two weeks? I don't remember. Yeah, I don't that remember. I don't remember. Yeah, I don't remember that at all. Uh, in other news, there's this ma- major manhunt going on in Pennsylvania. It's been going on since August 31st when Danilo Cavalcante escaped from Chester County Prison. He had been sentenced to life without parole for stabbing his former girlfriend to death while her two young kids were there, by the way. And I guess he was also wanted for murder in Brazil. Oh, he was here uh, illegally. Right. Yeah, he's a great guy. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, he was here illegally, had been uh, you know, wanted for murder in Brazil, came here, killed the his former girlfriend. The former mm-hmm. girlfriend or whatever. And I want to know who designed this jail. Right. This is one of the stories yeah. I, I saw a lot about while we were out on break. And the fact that he was able to like put his feet up against the one wall, yeah. use his hands against the other wall, like yeah, right. he keep did. walls far enough apart where you couldn't shimmy. Yeah, parkour. Right, and jumped over a razor fence, yeah. all while managing to evade the guards while he was waiting for this transfer. The guards were fired, by the way. Yeah, there have been 400 officers now working 12-hour days trying to find him. Uh, since he escaped, they think he shaved his mustache and beard based on sightings that they've had, and they've got some video footage of him various places. They also think he got hold of a car. Not sure what kind, but they think it's a white car, and officials are still getting word of sightings, but he continues to elude them. Yeah, he got they got the video footage because he showed up to ex-employee yeah, like one of his like co Yeah, it's house. basically like uh, ring doorbell footage. Yeah, and they didn't help him. The cops were like, right. no, the, the ex cover caught. They knew what was going on. Yeah. Sure. Called them right away. It's so freaky. Been on the loose for a long time. Also, while we were out on vacation, Danny Masterson uh, was sentenced to 30 years in prison for the rapes of two mm-hmm. women back in 2003. He and his lawyer said they're going to appeal that sentence, by the way. Um, after his sentencing was announced, his former That 70s Show co-stars, Ashton Kutcher and Mila Kunis, they posted a video apologizing for this pre-sentencing letter that they wrote to the judge. Now, I know you love Danny's Mila Kunis. Behalf. I do. I know you love her. Now, this video, if anything, shows who's the better actor. Yeah. Because they're clearly reading. Yeah. But there's yeah. only one of them who can make mm-hmm. it sound like he's not reading, and that would be Ashton Kutcher. Mm-hmm. Here, listen to this. All right. We are aware of the pain that has been caused by the character letters that we wrote on behalf of Danny Masterson. We support victims. We have done this historically through our work and will continue to do so in the future. I am not reading. Yeah, yeah right. It sounds like, <laughs> yeah, he, like it sounds like she's at like, a podium. Yeah, Ashton's at least like, you know, making it a little bit more cash. A little bit. You know what I mean? Make mm-hmm. it seem a little bit, it sounds a little bit more sincere coming from him. And meanwhile, she is just reading. A couple months ago, Danny's family reached out to us and they asked us to write character letters to represent the person that we knew for 25 years so that the judge could take that into full consideration relative to the sentencing. Now, what do you say, Mila Kunis? The letters were not written to question the legitimacy of the judicial system or the validity of the jury's ruling. They were intended for the judge to read and not to undermine the testimony. Yeah, anyway, so that's the gist of that. Right. Well, in that letter, they said Danny was a positive influence, an extraordinarily honest human being. Mila said Danny was like a brother to her and an amazing friend. So they're getting backlash for that. 
Uh, criticism is that they need to learn about accountability and keep their privilege in check. Well, apparently that... Uh, How'd that even get out? How did these letters get out? That's what I want to know. Because they weren't yeah. the only ones that wrote one. Right, Deborah Joe yeah. Rupp wrote one. Like five people from that 70s show yeah. wrote one. Yeah. Right. Well, apparently there's this one woman who was uh, privy to a bunch of stuff. Did you read that? At Menace? You're a big TMZ guy. Yeah. I, I saw it. I she's didn't calling really... out. She's like, hey, Ashton, I have a mm-hmm. bunch of stuff that will end your career tomorrow. And she was like, kind of like hinting and leading the, hey, remember uh, that conversation with so and so, and then kind of left it at that. Yeah, had know. to do with because Ashton's um, ex girlfriend was murdered, and the story was that he showed up to the house, and tried to ring the doorbell. No one answered, and he left. Yeah, so, so was she was kind of implying something yeah. more than, or about other that. like inappropriate relationships, mm-hmm. oh, no. you know, things like that. There was oh, I don't no. know if you saw the old clip of uh, Danny Masterson. That uh, somebody dug up. It was from like 2004 or something like that. He was on with Conan. And uh, it's weird how much sense this makes now. You have no Long Island accent that I can discern. Not really. I've been in LA for like 10 years. Mm -hmm. And it just goes away naturally, right? It it goes away naturally. And then there's also certain words that there's nothing you can do about. Like my friend Bodie Elfman, he always teases me and he says, Hi, my name is Danny Masterson. Would you like to touch my balls? (laughs) You know, doing an imitation of me. Because certain words. Why are you asking people to do that? That's the more important question. I mean, you got them. Yeah, right, right. You know what I mean? Accent aside. Should grab. That's the more important thing. Exactly. <laughs> I've heard about you. Uh, <laughs> and you'll be caught soon. I know you will. I will. Yeah. Whoa. Weird, right? Weird. Super weird. Hmm. Um, let's talk about something super controversial in this room. The crater of Diamond State Park in Arkansas. Oh, oh sweet. What happened? Such hey. a contentious yeah. topic. Here on the right. morning show. This is one of those yes. things. That, I didn't want to fight our first day back. <laughs> this is one of those what things. What is it, Greg? Everybody Tell Everybody here, and you know what? I think, Sammy, you're new enough. This hasn't come up since you've worked yeah, here. Yeah, I don't know. What's All going right, on? So, like, I do not <laughs> buy, I don't believe that these things happen by accident. I think this is like a total like marketing people, thing. I think people yeah. find little tiny specks of stuff, like little tiny right, little sure. itty bitty ones, the little diamonds. There's this park in Arkansas right. where people can go. It's like go pick your own strawberries, right? Like you go, okay. to this, you yeah. go to this place and you're able to dig around and see mm-hmm. if you can find, you, you know, a diamond or a whatever. Diamond. And every once in a while, someone finds like some giant three, four right. carat, whatever it is, diamond. They go, oh, and it wasn't like 30 feet underground. It's just below the surface. Do you mean to tell me people are going there every day? And if there was this place that was just littered with these diamonds, they're like, in this one, I think they said was a rare, whatever it was. Very that. rare. Okay, uh-huh. Very rare. And it's so littered with diamonds. We take over whole chunks of land and we mine it for all kinds of things, right? Mm-hmm. And, the, mm-hmm. you, and you and you see uh-huh. those you, you see the people who are working in those like you know where they're they're excavating and they, they've dug these <laughs> giant holes trying uh-huh. to get every little last bit of valuable stuff out of the earth. Yeah. Meanwhile, there's this random park in Arkansas where people diamonds. find three carat diamonds. And they go, <laughs> wow, well, look well, at you! Well, well, nobody says littered now, with okay. diamonds. We haven't had a story for, for years a while. Since also, been on this yeah, about show. a three. Also, to one. go back a little bit, I haven't heard anything about this right. story. So this I, apparently, this is a rare diamond. But the previous diamonds are like poop diamonds. They're like brown. Mm. They're not like yeah, they're not quality. They're, they're not, not glazing, polished, ring yeah, quality they're diamonds. Yeah, they're not worth to like dig up an entire I don't know acreage right. of land. I think it's marketing. They say most of them are the size of a uh, like a grain of rice. Yeah, yeah. I think and, like in this case, yeah. They took this like very raw diamond. Obviously, it's not going to be like you'd see in a, a, a store. You know what I mean? Right. And I, I think what they do is they uh, they go there and they kind of like you, like you do with your kids' uh, but, teeth. But you, you know, for tooth fairy. You know? Can we hear the story? Yeah. yeah. So well, here's I'm, the... I'm, this is, he said it was contentious. Right. Right. It's contentious. Okay. Now I believe what Reminding they say. Everybody, what the contention is. And the thing about the crater of Diamond State Park, Sammy, is whatever uh-huh. you find, you're allowed you to keep. keep. Okay. So that's deal. That's the thing. I believe it's th- uh, sure. real because what's the mm-hmm. What's the positive outcome for the right. park? Right. Are people right. paying to go like, and be able to do this? You would yes. pay to get in. Like all okay. of a sudden, mad crowds are going. Yeah. Right. Because other people are finding these big diamonds. So this girl, her name is Aspen. She was just there with her family. It just so happened to be her seventh birthday. Nice. <laughs> and she huh. just so happened to find a 2.95 carat golden brown diamond Second biggest diamond found there this year, and it is in near perfect condition. Oh, damn, she found right? one this for her. year on her birthday. On her birthday. So, but there might be a reason, Woody. The park yeah. thinks it's because of this recent project that was done there. They had this 150 yard trench that was dug up uh, to manage erosion at the park, 
and they think that dragged up yeah. and unturned and uncovered okay. diamonds. Oh, and she found sense. this nearly three carat diamond on her birthday, and it's been named the Aspen Diamond. Ooh, nice. like after nice. her. but it's another brown diamond. It's not. I worth. mean, it's brown. Yeah, yeah, golden brown. Yeah, and of course, it's just raw. It's not polished and cut. Right. So, but yeah, I think it's. I don't see what the benefit is for the park to other well, than to no. get people to go there. Well, I see what he's. Sure argument yes benefit is it is free marketing right. it gets more people, people to go, go there of course yeah. it does. spending instead of spending like you know regular advertising dollars on whatever they spend way less to get this broad to get some whatever random diamond, diamond place they, it out there yeah they place it out there just I, below the surface and they go oh my god i get the skepticism Look at that. and then it gets all this press and I, people talk about it like we yeah, are now i totally get the skepticism i do See, I live in but, West Arkansas now. We're going to be going to this park soon. See? <laughs> mm -hmm. They work. already live there. Right. Yeah, but they wouldn't Nobody's even, flying in. Nobody would know I about would. this park. We'll go. Or, fly in and yeah. we'll see what you get. <laughs> hey, are we anywhere near? So we're going to be driving through Arkansas. Are we going to be anywhere near that Diamond Park? We should go there. Well, okay. I, I would go. You wouldn't even yeah. know. You know what? I, I think this is real. After hearing all the information, I don't think it's a plant. No, nah, it's not a plant. Yeah. No. They're just there. They're, yeah. They're just crap diamonds that yeah. happen to be there. Right. And if you and, find it, you get all excited. You yeah. get to keep it. It's cool. I don't huh. think you have, any, a, you have a poop diamond. Yeah, I don't think there's <laughs> anybody going out there placing three carat no. diamonds around. No. Just for little No, you just randomly find. find them just below the surface. You're right. At a diamond crater. Yeah. yeah. How yeah. crazy. Yeah. It's like finding a pumpkin at a pumpkin patch. What? How, how insane. <laughs> but we're not talking about pumpkins. But look we're talking at this about pumpkin. Diamonds. It's so big. <laughs> what? <laughs> This pumpkin's so much bigger than the rest of the pumpkins. I know we're not talking about pumpkins. That's yeah. the point, though. It's but a it's diamond this? park. It's like finding coal in a coal mine. <laughs> Look at this yeah. piece of coal. Yeah. It's so much bigger than the other ones. <laughs> Somebody must have sprinkled it in here. No, right. I understand this, all that. This was a plant. <laughs> See, you guys are missing my point. No, we hear yeah, your oh, point. Oh, no, you are. Okay, for the part to even... I understand there's we're... diamonds there. Yes, I, yes. You're oh, now diamonds. you're admitting there are diamonds there. Yeah, but I'm saying if they were legit, like this thing was there, whatever, whatever, they would have had this thing. Somebody would have had this thing cordoned off. They'd be digging through there every day, and it would be well, one of those things where they're just harvesting diamonds and doing, sell them the Claire's at the mall or something. I don't know. <laughs> you know because I mean? they've known since the beginning their crab diamonds yeah. is not worth doing. And there's all not that. like huge diamond veins. They're just around. Yeah, and this is why, and this is why things like this exist because we have. A, very, very large number of stupid people. We need to broadcast from there. Yeah. Oh, please. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> and then Ravy will find like the, the, I'll find a five carat what was that, yeah. one of polished the diamond. Yeah. <laughs> it's like if you went to those places where people are like panning for gold and all of a sudden someone finds a whole gold bar. Whoa! What? Look at that, guys. Yeah, because people cool. find a gold bar. <laughs> Look what I found. <laughs> wow. Well, okay. You really lucked out. That's pretty cool, man. When oh, it's your birthday gold. today? Cool. Uh -huh. <laughs> But imagine Come if you on, found man. gold at a place where you pan for gold and there's known to be gold no there. Way. I found a gold nugget. I, I thought that's where you find diamonds. <laughs> no. Wait, what? Yeah. What? What? So you guys, you guys are missing the point. I'm not shocked that they find diamonds. I'm shocked that they're just like these big three kids. And never mind. some are big and some are small. Yeah. How Weird. Crazy. They're not all the same size. The, they're a crazy <laughs> variety of sizes. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. They're what? not all identical? Yeah. They're not uniform diamonds? <laughs> See, I enjoy What's this because here? it's the one time I feel smarter than everybody else. Uh, okay. I'm just looking around the room yes. going, what a bunch of dumb, gullible yeah. idiots. Mm -hmm. Who don't know mm. diamonds are all uniform. Yeah. Yep. Get yeah. it. <laughs> More Woody Shows next. Hang on.